New Year's Day, very first of 2023. Today, a shootout. This is between a classic Philharmonica 14 double temple mint condition. As you can see, it's got its full golden panel. Uh, never had a damaged edge. Almost a perfect razor, I would say, against a river razor, which as you know, I only got the other day from Boris de Rivière, who is a master bladesmith in France, La Belle Francais. This I was extremely pleased with the other day when I shaved with it, but as a fair test, this is uh, based on this very model. This is a classic 14, but this is of course, as you can see by his wonderful sign, this is a River Razor 14, whereas this fella is the original, with the original late address, Philharmonica Double Temple, Jose Montserrat Powell. Now, this has always been a great, great razor. This, I thought, slightly beat it. So, let's have a shootout and see which wins. I'll be using, as in all fair tests, the same soap, even the same brush. And uh, I was very impressed with um, Barbershop Dave. Always in his tests, we use, again, the same soap. So, there's no discrepancies. So, it's a cella red, which is a wonderful soap actually, it's some, um, excuse me, it seems in my opinion um, to be a kind, what I call a kind soap, the almond oil makes a heck of a difference to me, um, I mean other soaps are probably better for other people, I don't know, what I do know is uh, the almond oil seems to work uh, a treat, in fact I make a confession I don't use a pre-shave now, and I don't use an after-shave. You can go straight from the lava to the shave, wash it all off, and because of the, I don't know, the oils in it, the almond oil in it, seems to be perfectly adequate to continue your day. Anyway, talking of days, I hope you all had a, a wonderful New Year's Eve. I, uh, I partied for five hours <laughs> over at Sarah, my friend's house, uh, with eight others. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't really drink because I, I drove several of them over there in my car. But uh, I danced, partied for uh, five hours. And um, come 1.15 in the morning today, uh, went home had a sleep. Since then, I cycled over to my brother. I've done some shopping in Tesco. I made a light lunch. And now I'm gonna have a shave. So, that's all the lathering I normally need. I'm no expert on scents and lathers, and to me, it's got to do a good job. And as long as it does, I don't care. Anyway, age before beauty. Let's start, start off the shave with a double temple, which as I say, oh, that's wonderful. I haven't shaved with this one for a few months, but you can hear that it's doing a fantastic job. Of all the razors in the world, oh, listen to that. the moniker is just magic there are others of course I mean I love Palmera Iberia are very good too but no better there's a gentleman that's managed to get a whole batch of uh, mint Iberias well good luck um, wish I had some here we go on the other side of my mush with this wonderful River Razor 14 I would say I have more, more confidence. It seems to be, because it's new, it's extremely smooth, it's extremely precise. Uh, it doesn't flop about. It, it, it gives great confidence. 
Let's see what it does on this side. Very slightly different noise, isn't that interesting? Ooh. And shaves equally well. Well, I can't tell the difference between them. Yeah. Well, I would say I'd be very, very, very harsh and hard to say which one was better. Bearing in mind, I've had to fill you longer. I can't quite remember whether I put the edge on it or not. Uh, I think I did. I think I actually, if I did put the edge a few months back now on the filly, it may have been uh, one of my 20,000 grit Suhiru um, edges, in which case it's a little bit unfair because uh, I love a very, very sharp edge. Some people would say possibly a harsh edge. I, I, I don't know. It's, I've used JNAT edges. I've used Arkansas edges. All are good. I'm, I'm not saying they're not. Uh, at the moment, I seem to be going through a uh, synthetic edge period. And the 20K, when used with great care, seems to be uh, a very, 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 very nice edge. However, let's try against the grain. This is again with the uh, River Razor. Yeah. Scything through. Now, ha, ha, ha. put him down. Let's try the same stroke over the same area and then we'll go on the other side with the uh, traditional Philharmonica Double Temple 14. Isn't that astonishing? very hard to tell and bearing in mind I'm more used to the filly it's very very slightly very slightly lighter feel um, as far as the, the actual cut goes I would say, guessing, but I would say this has got the 20k edge and Boris's edge I think might have been on a natural stone, quite likely in Arkansas, which means on the HHT test you can't tell the difference between them, because you can tell the difference when it comes to a shade, very slightly. But again, this is me being a little bit uh, picky. Yeah, I, very hard to say. Let's uh, try one more time. I don't want to bore you to death, but I would say I can't tell. I think they're both absolutely wonderful. <laughs> One day soon, what I'll do is I'll take this magnificent, remember this is a new steel as well, this is a better, this is a superior steel. So what I'll do, very soon, perhaps the next shave, I don't know, I'm gonna give Boris's River Razor 14, a 20k edge. And then I'm going to compare it 
to one of the world's very, very, very best raisers, a mint Palmera 14. And if it marries up and matches my mint Palmera 14, then you can say that River Razor 14 is probably one of the very best in the world. So, at the moment, both of them are magnificent, but I would actually, me being a little bit naughty here, but I would actually give very slightly the edge to the Philharmonica. But bearing in mind the Philharmonica has got a 20k edge that I put on, and I'm not sure what Boris's edge is, but I doubt if it's a 20k. And I'm a little bit prejudicial because I, I've gone towards synthetic edges. However, um, I'm going <laughs> to finish up with a good trim in a minute. But for now, the modern, the old, I would honestly say I'd be very hard pushed to, set, to tell, except Boris's is better materials. Structurally, it's far superior to any Philharmonica. It's got these beautiful adjustable pivot screws. It's made from the very, very latest, very high tech steel. It's been tempered perfectly by Boris. It's got a gold spine. It's a massive blade. This blade is actually bigger than a Philharmonica's by one millimeter. This is a 26 millimeter blade. And I've always said the bigger the better, but anyway. Um, incredible scales. They've got a high-tech blue, sort of carbon fibery lining, uh, which means they're never going to move. It's got a, it's got the same size, almost identical because <laughs> I sent the pattern <laughs> to Boris. It's the same size scales, which I don't think can be beaten at any time by anyone anywhere for a simple reason. They were made in thousands and they were made very, very carefully. Uh, you don't sell tens of thousands of razors all around the world if they aren't right. So I would say, you take your pick. The difference is, this, a mint filly in its box with its guarantee paper, it's gonna cost you a fortune. Boris's River Razor is a better than good copy. It's a superior version. And ain't gonna cost you the same. Anyway, enough of that. Um, wonderful, happy New Year's uh, Day to everybody. I hope everybody has absolutely wonderful uh, and happy New Year. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.